I'm Cameron Kemp, Director of Research for the Center for Applied Research in Dementia. We welcome you to this video describing a different way of thinking about persons with dementia. Let's think about the importance of the words we choose, especially when dealing with persons with dementia. It is believed that the major cause of dementia is Alzheimer's disease. When we are told that a person has a disease, it causes a series of thoughts and assumptions within us. Having a disease is often associated with the need for medical treatment. In the case of Alzheimer's disease, drugs are used to try to slow cognitive decline. In addition, drugs are often used to try to treat challenging behaviors in these persons. While the underlying cause of most cases of Alzheimer's disease is unknown, there is a great deal of emphasis on trying to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease today. This emphasis is then translated into finding funding to support pharmacologic research. Drugs are designed to be used both as treatment and, in the case of biomarkers, to detect the presence of Alzheimer's disease as early as possible. What would happen if we thought about Alzheimer's disease and dementia in general the way we think about Down syndrome? What if we called it Alzheimer's syndrome rather than Alzheimer's disease. Imagine there would be extensive efforts to include people with Alzheimer's syndrome into society. There might be special Olympics for persons with Alzheimer's syndrome, educational programs, training programs. There might be legislation to enable persons with Alzheimer's syndrome to maintain employment in environments that support their disabilities. Persons with Alzheimer's syndrome would be protected by the Americans with Disabilities Act. Stigma currently associated with dementia would be greatly reduced and frowned upon by society. Now think about a world in which we have Down's disease, a world in which those persons are treated the way persons with Alzheimer's disease are treated in our world today. Persons with Down's disease would be treated by being given drugs, drugs designed to increase their intelligence, but which were expensive, had little effect, and numerous side effects. In addition, there would be huge fundraising efforts designed to create a cure for Down's disease. There would be no special Olympics for these persons, no special education, no training. Persons with Down's disease would be stigmatized, isolated, kept apart, and disengaged from society. The message is that we, as a society, need to view persons with Alzheimer's disease or any other form of dementia as persons with disabilities. Just as we build ramps to allow persons with challenges to mobility to have access to their environment, to their communities, so we must build cognitive ramps as a society to enable persons with dementia to have the same access. We need to demonstrate the values of respect, dignity, and equality in all of our interactions with persons with dementia, as well as our interactions with persons with Down syndrome and all other members of society. It is interesting that the man for whom Alzheimer's disease is named had this to say about his cases of persons with dementia. There is then no tenable reason to consider these cases as caused by a specific disease process. 
We must change the way we think and talk about persons with dementia. The words we choose are the words that will be used to describe ourselves when we develop this disability. We must choose our words wisely.